sometimes making memories and being with the people you love is more important than cleaning. Um, not every grandmother oh, <laughs> has, has a microphone hanging in their living room. But let me just show you how this mess all came about and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna deal with it. So first things first, gather all white things, put them into a box and bring them to the room that they belong in. Is this your favorite job? Well, I don't know. <laughs> she always sounds so enthusiastic about it. This is my last, least favorite part is putting things away, but this is just a disaster in my kitchen and everywhere for that matter. It's just a total disaster. I'm just gonna put everything where it belongs the best that I can. So, you know, when the honey and stuff gets left out, you know, I'm gonna put them in the right cupboards. And, you know, vitamins and things like that. My gosh, there's never enough room in the kitchen for all the things that belong here. I'm a little bit of a Coca Cola addict, but I, I'm getting it under control. <laughs> I don't know if my daughter's the only one, but she doesn't seem to know where the garbage can is. Recycling. Oh, this is my worst enemy. I just brought all the recycling in yesterday, and it, they have, but I still I find it everywhere. Like, I don't know why houses haven't grown into the recycling age or era. I think that we need better containers. We need somebody invent something, please. I'm doing my taxes. There's bits of receipts and everything everywhere. It's heaven's knows I can't do one thing at a time. Things happen in life, and you know, I, I just have to drop things sometimes. And this is the result. I often wonder why why does why do things get messy? And sometimes we have sentimental attachment to things, and it. Those sentimental things can sure build up over time and get really ugly. Ugh. This is looking better. It's not a glamorous home. I'm a house cleaner for a living. I mean, I'm not rich and famous. Um, but I believe in making the best with what you've got. I just got water, maybe a tablespoon full of Dr. Bronner's. It makes the house smell nice. And I'm gonna give it a preliminary spray. While I'm talking about cleaners, um, now I, I am using Dr. Bronner's today. It's lavender scented, beautiful, beautiful, all-purpose Castile soap, organic. Barely need any because it's very concentrated. A uh, little on the expensive side. Uh, it can range anywhere from $20 to $23 here in Canada. It can be found at health food stores and uh, sometimes at little specialty stores and that kind of thing. Now, I found this at the store the other day. It is, uh, it's called the Green Beaver Company Castile Soap. Canadian made. Uh, it's got a different base than the Dr. Bronner's. And I, when I smelt it, I thought, it smells just like Dr. Bronner's. It looks like Dr. Bronner's. I brought it to a client's house. I used it, and the very first day she said, what is that smell? I couldn't believe it. She could tell that I had changed cleaners. To me, it smelled the very same, but I have to say that Dr. Bronner's, to me, is, is, is just a little notch above. But this one was $12.99 on sale. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta kinda maybe tweak it a little bit if the budget doesn't allow. So I do have um, some of this one hand in case I need it. But it doesn't need to be on the counter. Somebody made me some plum juice a long time ago. It just looks horrible. I don't know that it processed it properly, but I'm just like, uh, what do I do with it? I can't open it? It's solid as a rock. Can't open it. How am I gonna get rid of it? I can't, I need to recycle it or get the door back. I can't open it. And I don't wanna tell them that it sucks. So what do I do? I just, I think I'm gonna put it in the recycling bin for now because I will deal with it. It's not gonna do any damage in there. So I'm gonna stick into the last recycling bin. It's uh, kind of looking yucky, right? Yeah. So um, I'm gonna use some ivory if I can get the last out of my bottle because yeah, just my luck. I ran out of ivory. Oh man. Okay, so I ran out of ivory. I'm gonna use the palm olive that I have on hand. Um, I I don't prefer anything but ivory for cleaning. Uh, it rinses really well and that kind of thing. But uh, this palm olive doesn't really have any color to it, and I find that things that have color to it sometimes can stain things when cleaning and that kind of thing. But uh, I'm gonna use palm olive today. It's my second choice. So. Um, it's coconut scented, so it'll smell nice. I just gave it a quick squirt 
I'm going to give it a squirt up here too. And then I am going to take my cloth and just rub that right around everywhere. As you can see, it's pretty gross. But look at how easy it comes off. Um, I know that dishwashing liquid must be fairly safe, or most of them are, because of the fact that we eat off of the dishes that we clean with them. So I believe that it's very effective in cleaning a lot of other things. Um, it removes soap scum really well. It removes um, dirt, stains, so many things. I'm gonna show you. Give it a rinse. Shiny. Dishwashing liquid, ivory, or palm olive if you don't have ivory and it will make a big difference on your kitchen sink. This is a magnificent way to make an ugly sofa look much prettier. I think that uh, it's nice to be able to take it off and just easily wash it as well because if I can't do that, the children inevitably spill things. Life is about living. You gotta be able to use your stuff. All right, so a few throw cushions. All right. All refreshed. Now for the final touch. I am going to mop the floor. It is pretty gross. It, it really is dull and not very nice looking. Um, what I'm going to use is the palm olive dishwashing liquid in it this time around. So the first thing is first, never put your bucket on a hardwood floor. It will leave a ring around it possibly, so don't do that. Put it on a towel or something like that. So mine is way over there. I've got a flat mop, it's a Felita system. It has these snap-on mop heads. I entirely suggest them. Oh, I can see it's starting to feel like a normal floor again. It's awesome. Now, the proper way to mop is to go back and forth and swivel so you don't leave any kind of marks because uh, if you stop like that you get a mark of kind of fluff and stuff so you keep on swiveling and just keep on swiveling until the end swipe and then give it a rinse so this is the after it took me a good portion of the day to get everything sorted out, um, but the counters are clean, the table is clean, and everything is back in its home again. Things got overwhelming, but I'm not going to be hard on myself because I spent time with my family, and I did what I loved, and you know, they're most important to me, and I, I think that the rest can all wait, which it did. It didn't go away. <laughs> I put up new white curtains, lets more light in, um, I got new, or not new, but uh, cleaned covers on the sofa and on the chair, which makes it a little bit more comfy and inviting now. Um, I've got the coffee table cleaned off, the bookshelf revamped, with just stuff that I had around the house, so it didn't cost anything, it just freshened things up, and um, I dusted everything and wash the floors. The floors are looking lovely and nice and shiny now in comparison to before. As you can see, the palm olive that I used worked quite well. Um, like I said, I suggest ivory, but the palm olive worked good too. Dish soap, as long as it doesn't have a color to it and as long as your floor is not sensitive, try a small area first. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm glad that I didn't give up it was overwhelming <laughs> this is what it looks like anyways and and I'm I'm so happy that everything's back in order thank you so much for watching please subscribe like it if you like this video and remember when wasn't built in a day do what you love and the cleaning will still be there tomorrow